Welcome to FreshMy.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to model the tip of a Phillips screwdriver. We're not going to model the handle because there's just so many different kinds of handles uh, on screwdrivers, but they pretty much all have the same kind of tip. There are a little bit of variations, but they're pretty much all the same. So we're going to focus on just modeling the tip of a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to start off with a polygon cylinder. It's got eight sides. I'm going to turn the caps off, so subdivision caps are zero. I'm going to go ahead and delete this bottom face. That way when I do a smooth preview, the bottom is flat. Alright, I'm going to select this top face. I'm going to do an extrude. Whoops. Do an extrude. I'm going to do another extrude and scale that in. And that's going to create our the tip of our screwdriver, but let me just kind of reshape this a little bit more. So something about like that. And what I'm looking for is if I go to a side view here, I want the distance here pretty much about the same as the distance here. So I'm going to select all of these and just pull these down probably just a little bit. Doesn't have to be exact, but as long as they pretty much look the same, it's going to turn out fine. All right, I'm going to go to a top view now. I have a point up here along the top and bottom along this z-axis. I have a point on the left and right sides along the x-axis. I want this to be flat, so I'm going to rotate this 22.5 degrees around the y-axis. So now I've got a flat edge, top and bottom, and on the sides over here. I'm going to freeze the transformations to get my manipulator handle lined back up with the world coordinates. Go to edge select mode. I'm going to select the edges along the x-axis at the top right there. And I'm going to scale those in, not all the way till it's the same as the top. I'm just going to pull that out just a little, little bit. So something about like that. I'm going to do the same thing along the z-axis. So I'm just going to scale that in. and just so that this edge is slightly bigger than this top edge up here. Next I'm going to select all these faces. Like that. I'm going to do it extrude, but I'm going to make sure the keep faces together is turned on on my edit mesh. I'm going to extrude in the channel box. I'm going to look for the offset and I'm going to adjust that so it looks kind of about like this right there. All right, object mode, shift, right click, split polygon tool options box. And the options, I'll make sure my use snapping points along edge is checked. Number of points, I'm going to change to two. And my snapping tolerance, I'm going to make 100. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start splitting like so on every side. So corner on the edge and corner. I'm gonna now I'm gonna change my tool settings, change the number of points from two to one, and now I'm gonna do the opposite side. like so. Next, select this edge loop all the way around. I'm going to do a bevel and then in the options or the channel box I'm going to change the offset until we get something about like that. I'm going to select these edges all the way around. I'm going to use my scale tool. Whoops. Pull all those inward. And I'm going to lift it up about halfway. So something about like that. I'm going to select all the ones right underneath it. I'm going to lower those down about halfway. And I'm going to scale those in. 
I'm going to select these ones up at the top and I'm going to scale those in just, whoops, scale those in just a little bit more. What I want is I kind of want a curve right there, those three edges. So we've got kind of a nice flowing curve there. All right, where each of these fins come out, I want those to be connected all the way across. So shift, right click, split polygon tool. And I'm just going to bring that right across. And then also the opposite direction. Kind of zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. So that fin kind of goes up and it just kind of continues on the other side. Same thing with this way. All right. Now let me do one more thing. I'm going to add, let's see if, let me just go to a side view. To keep all this from stretching downward when we do a smooth, shift, right click, cut faces tool. And I'm just going to put a cut uh, below that edge right there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, grab these bottom vertices and just pull that down. And let's go ahead and do a smooth and see what this looks like. So there is our Phillips screwdriver. And back to our low poly. There it is. We do have some triangles in there, but I'm not worried about it because it smooths really nice. And again, this is not the only way that you can make a Phillips, but it is a very simple, easy way with great results, as you can tell. And then you, if you need to, you can go in there and just start tweaking it and making it look a little better. So, But that's it. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.